We've just recently given our dining room a makeover and Suncorp have asked us to share with you how we made change for less. Sorry, this video is all about our tips and advice on how you can make change for less when renovating and styling your dining room. This is what our dining room looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. We didn't make any major structural changes in this dining room. Instead, we focused on cosmetic fixes. And I'm gonna share with you a few really clever and cost-effective ideas on how you can improve your dining room. I'm not being crazy. Look, if I tuck this in, it looks it has a petal quality. I'm trying to, can you see that? It's like a flower. The furniture in your dining room can often be the most expensive part. We actually decided to bring in a new dining table and chairs. However, our previous chairs, we just picked them up from a local op shop. They actually only cost us $100 and we simply upcycled them by sanding them and giving them a clear coat. Another option to save money on furniture though is mix and match and use what you've got. You don't have to have a perfect matching set of dining chairs. You can mix them around and a good way to do this is to mix up just the heads of the table, just changing these two seats. Another great option is to bring in a bench seat. This is great for additional seating and then you can save money by not having to have as many chairs. You know what, I love our dining room and it's not actually a true before because two birds, one stone. When we were fixing the lighting in the living room, we actually got the pendant to be put into here. Think about creative ways to improve your lighting without having to do a lot of work because improving your lighting is pretty much the same as giving your room a fresh coat of paint. It will instantly change your interior. We only had one source of light in our dining room. It was just a single pendant light over the dining table. And so instead we decided to change up our pendant, swap it over and bring in a pendant with nine lights. So this actually cast a lot more light around the room and helped to create a really lovely moody ambience. As well as pendant lighting, don't forget natural light. So that means paying attention to your windows. Windows are obviously fantastic because they bring in a lot of that natural light. So you want to enhance that. But don't forget to think about your window furnishings. For one, they will instantly improve the decor of your space. And two, if you choose off the shelf options, they can often be a lot more cost effective than going custom. If you want to bring in more light, another great way to do this is through a mirror. Mirrors are fantastic because they reflect the light around the room and help enhance the feeling of scale in your dining room. I love creating vignettes in my home and I absolutely love styling with flowers. However, fresh flowers can be very expensive because you need to keep buying them if you always want them to look good. So think about purchasing an everlasting arrangement. Things like dried flowers, branches, cottons, grasses. These are things you only need to purchase once and they're always gonna look great and last you forever. When it comes to styling, a question I often get asked is how do you style your dining table when it's not being used? Now, I've got a couple of easy tips for you to think about when you're styling your dining table. For one, think about odd numbers. One, three, five items is probably max. You don't want it to get too cluttered. For me, my favorite sweet spot is always three items. And then when it comes to the items you're popping on your table, I like to use practical vessels, things like bowls and jugs. It doesn't look too forced and more importantly, they don't look empty if they're not being used. And lastly, a touch of greenery. I've actually just popped a devil's ivy clipping here. It's sitting in water, it's so low maintenance, I just need to remember to top it up every now and again. Another idea that you can try for your dining table is to actually style by using a tray or large platter as your base and then layering up your items on top of that. Again, practical items, maybe a salt and pepper shaker, perhaps a bowl with some fruit or some nuts. A candle is always great. Otherwise, always a touch of greenery works well.
Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video has given you a few ideas of things that you can do in your dining room. A big thank you to Suncorp for asking us to share with you how we made change for less. I put together some more tips and advice on the Suncorp website. So hit the link below to check that out and like and subscribe. We've got plenty more videos coming your way. Thank you.